Hello everyone and welcome to Vespers today. Hold on one second, let me just adjust. Hello, I'm sorry. Welcome to Vespers today. Today is uh, the 12th and it is Tuesday and um, I want to welcome you to the Teo community. Uh, we're an online community and we present prayer twice a day on this live stream channel. My name is Sister Eleanor and I'm very happy to have you here with me in prayer. We have our candle that's lit for peace. This is something that we do with every broadcast. It shows that we have uh, peace within and also we're celebrating peace without. Even though we don't necessarily see peace right now, we hold that candle uh, of peace in hope for a peace that will come shortly throughout the world. We also have our prayer for peace today, which is, O oh God, from whom all holy desires and all good counsels and all just words do proceed, give unto us the same peace which the world cannot give. And that is from the, from a medieval English uh, primer. Now let's continue with our prayers by praying Vespers. It's the 15th week in ordinary time, but hardly anything but ordinary. So let's pray that the Holy Spirit prays through us today. O oh God, come to our assistance. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to our Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus, our teacher, and to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen and Alleluia. Our poem for the day is, Help us, O Lord, to learn the truths thy word imparts, to study that thy laws may be inscribed upon our hearts. Help us, O Lord, to live the faith which we proclaim, that all our thoughts and words and deeds may glorify thy name. Help us, O Lord, to teach the beauty of your ways, that yearning souls may find the Christ, and sing aloud his praise. Now we're going to continue and pray Psalm 125. And this psalm talks about the Lord as guardian of his people. The antiphon is the Lord surrounds his people with his strength. Those who put their trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion. They cannot be shaken. That stands forever. Jerusalem, the mountains surround her, so the Lord surround his, surrounds his people, both now and forever. For the scepter of the wicked shall not rest over the land of the just, for fear that the hands of the just should turn to evil. Do good, Lord, to those who are good, to the upright of heart, but the crooked and those who do evil drive them away, and on Israel peace. Glory to our Father, Mother, God, to the Lord Jesus, our Teacher, and to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Surround your people, Lord, within the safety of your love. Do not let us stretch out our hands to any evil deeds, nor be destroyed by the insidious snares of our enemies, but bring us to share the lot of the saints in light. Again, the antiphon is, the Lord surrounds his people with his strength. Now we pray Psalm 131. In this psalm, talks about childlike trust in God, which is what we all need to aspire to. And the antiphon is, unless you acquire the heart of a child, you cannot enter the kingdom of heaven. O Lord, my heart is not proud, nor haughty my eyes. I have not gone after things that are too great, nor marvels that are beyond me. Truly, I have set my soul in silence and in peace, as a child has rest in his mother's arms. Even so is my soul. O Israel, hope in the Lord, both now and forever. Glory to our Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus, our Teacher, and to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. 
Lord, you are gentle and humble of heart, and you declared that whoever receives a little child in your name receives you, and you promised your kingdom to those who are like children. Never let pride reign in our hearts, but may the Father's compassion reward and embrace all who willingly bear your gentle yoke. And the antiphon again, unless you acquire the heart of a child, you cannot enter the kingdom of heaven. And now, dear ones, all of us are going to pray the canticle from Revelation, a praise song. So we're going to praise God and thank God through this canticle. The antiphon is, Lord, you have made us a kingdom and priests for God. O Lord our God, you are worthy to receive glory and honor and praise, for you have created all things. By your will they came to be and were made. Worthy are you, O Lord, to receive the scroll and break open its seals. For you were slain, and with your blood you purchased for God people of every race and tongue of every nation. You made of them a kingdom and priests to serve our God, and they shall reign on the earth. Worthy is the Lamb who was slain to receive power and riches, wisdom and strength, honor, glory, and praise. Glory to our Father, Mother God to the Lord Jesus, our teacher, and to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Again, our antiphon for this is, Lord, you have made us a kingdom and priests for God. And now, dear ones, let the Holy Spirit speak to your soul as we listen to these words from Paul to the Romans. Your love must be sincere. Detest what is evil. Cling to what is good. Love one another with the affection of brothers and sisters. Anticipate each other in showing respect. Do not grow slack, but be fervent in spirit. He whom you serve is the Lord. Rejoice in hope. Be patient under trial. And persevere in prayer. Our response to this is, throughout all eternity, O God, your promise stands unshaken. Throughout all eternity, O God, your promise stands unshaken. Your faithfulness will never fail, and your promise stands unshaken. Glory to our Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus, who is our teacher, and to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Through all eternity, O Lord, your promise stands unshaken. And now, dear ones, let Mary bless you as we pray her canticle. The antiphon or the refrain is, My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. So Mary says, and we say with her, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed, because the Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones, and has lifted up the lowly. He daily fills the hungry with good things, and the rich he sends away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promises of mercy, those promises that he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to our Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus, who is our teacher, and to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The antiphon again is, My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. And now I'd like for us, if we uh, would, to pray for each other and to praise God for all his blessings. God establishes his people in hope. Let us cry out to him with joy. You are the hope of your people, Lord. 
We thank you, Lord, because you have given us all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. And we pray, you are the hope of your people, Lord. O God, in your hands are the hearts of the powerful. Bestow your wisdom upon every government leader. May they draw from the fountain of your counsel and please you in thought and deed. And we pray, you are the hope of your people, Lord. The talents of artists reflect your splendor. May their work give the world both hope and joy. And we pray, you are the hope of your people, Lord. You do not allow us to be tested beyond our ability. Strengthen all of us who are weak and help all of us be raised up who are fallen. And we pray, you are the hope of your people, Lord. Through your Son, you promised to raise people up on the very last day. Do not forget all of us who have died. And we pray, you are the hope of your people, Lord. We pray for all of you that are out there right now. All of you who are putting anything on the chat board as a request. And all of you who may watch this at another time. We ask the Lord to deeply heal you and to bless you right now and to fill you to overflowing from the top of your head to the toes, the bottom, the soles of your feet with the Spirit of God and the love of the Lord. May your heart open up and may you truly know that God loves you just as you are, not at some future date, not when you become better in some way. They are all stipulations we place in ourselves. Of course, we always strive to be better, but remember that God loves you who you are and where you are right now. And we pray, you are the hope of your people, Lord. We pray for you, Brother Sean and Brother Rob, for Brother Murray and Brother Paul. We pray for everyone at the monastery at Storth. We pray that everyone continues the worthy work that is being done and is filled to overflowing with the spirit and the love of the Lord and is healed also in mind, body, and spirit. And we pray, you are the hope of your people, Lord. We pray for Sister Jean and her two little dogs. We pray that she also is filled to overflowing with the Spirit of the Lord, and that the blessing of the Lord is upon her, and she is healed in mind, body, and spirit. And we pray, you are the hope of your people, Lord. We pray for Sister Sue and her family, that they are filled with the Spirit of God, and there is no room for anything else but God's love. No fear. Nothing else other than God's love. And we pray, you are the hope of your people, Lord. We also pray for Earth Mother Gaia, that you, Lord, may bless her. You may bring her into balance. And you may teach us how to care for her the way we should. And we pray, you are the hope of your people, Lord. And now, dear ones, I'd like to invite you to just rest in God's love right now and let the Lord minister to you in the silence. And we pray, you are the hope of your people, Lord. Now together let us seal our prayers by saying the Our Father, Mother God, together in love. Our Father, Mother God, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come and your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who have trespassed against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom. Yours is the power, and yours is the glory, now and forever. Amen. Our concluding prayer. Lord, may our evening prayer rise up to you, and your blessing come down upon us. May your help and saving grace be ours, now and through all eternity. We ask this through our Lord, the Cosmic Christ, who is your brother and our teacher and who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. 
Amen. May all of us today be truly blessed by the Lord and protected from everything evil, ourselves and our families and friends and acquaintances. And may all of us be brought to the fullness of life. Amen. Our final blessing is a short one. May God bless you with love and health. For these are the true measures of both joy and wealth. Amen. So thank you for being with us today. And hopefully you can be with us again tomorrow. And we're always here at this time. And we ask you to just rejoice and be happy today. Just will yourself to do that. And things, a lot of things will go so much better. And the more that you're happy and rejoicing, the better it gets. So thank you again, and namaste.